Hey everyone, this is Blackbinder, and welcome back to the Let's Play of Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire. Last time we left off, we entered the Vite Mouth, and we are now in Rimmergon's Void. Let's talk to this shackled soul. See what she has to say. The figure shackled before you shudders, its edges shaking and blurring, its entire form indistinct, as if seen through a waterfall. As you approach, her features resolve into those of a subtle folk. Her brown hair falling limp and mattered about her pale skin. Her eyes, though, are bright and blue. Iovara Ix Encios. Is that the girl from the first game? Yeah, that's her. Now, I said she was my lover in the first game, but I don't know if that's canon, because you can also say that she's your sister. You've returned to me. Please, please release me. This place, the agony... So much worse than anything I suffered at your hands. How can I know this is you? I'm not sure I can trust my senses here. She cries out writh She cries out writhing against her bonds as they burn with violet light. She shimmers as her face falls away, replaced with a cold hard mask over a gray beard. My students. <laughs> my nemesis. Taos. To see you again here. Have you come to proffer forgiveness? Or to persecute me further? His words waver weakly as if floating to you from the bottom of a well. I destroyed Taos. Theos. The entity shimmers again, its features running like water as if as it lifts its head. See you, do I come to kill old Merwald? To claim his keep? Cad Nua, home to me for decades now? The venerable watcher's eyes wetly widen. Merwald was the first watcher we met, and that's how we knew we would go crazy if we didn't fix ourselves. That old place, you can hold on to it. We got a boat now. <laughs> Leave an old man be, beg I. Leave him to his doom, to the dawn stars rise. Uh, ch -ch -ch. You wouldn't have looked, you wouldn't have, you wouldn't have liked it inside Aethys. He's much brighter than your basement was. I'm not falling for this spirit. Tell me what you want. The old man tr trembles, his visage splitting apart at the wrinkles. The sagging flesh falls away to reveal bruised skin beneath. The illusion melts into black ichor, ichor, which flows through the air into an object hanging from the spirit's neck, a small blade broken near the hilt. Uh, what's that hanging from your neck? The spirit's labored breaths fracture into a weak chuckle. You see through it then? You must be special, like they were. Are. She appears again to be an elf, albeit one of duskier skin than Iovara. Who are you? I'm... I'm uncertain. I've lost so much of myself here. She tore my name from me. Who did this to you? The interrogator. She's deep within, ensconced in her little court. I need to find this woman. You won't. She wards herself too well. In her labyrinth of Audra and Copper. Perhaps with my help. If you found the pieces of me, returned them, I could lead you to her. Uh, how would I retrieve your memories? If they remain, they're in the machines. Each encompasses an Audra pillar, and each pillar contains the countless souls scoured by the Inquisitor. We were the Inquisitor. If you At one point in a past life, I mean. Pieces, seek them there, but be warned. Some may be more volatile than others. I want to help, so try to find bits of me that aren't too... broken. Sounds to me like an excuse to get me to help you. We're thinking the same myself, Cap. Mayhap she's better safe and shackled. The way, tis in what she's taken from me. Memories of anguish. I can lead you, but not as I am. Uh, I'll try to find a way to help you. I appreciate that. You've no idea how much. Take the relic with you. You may need it. We got betrayal. Quick to rebel. What does that do? Once per rest, foe AoE charmed for six seconds. And have their stats increased. Let's talk to her again. Do you remember anything new? No. I wanted to see if she recognized me. Check around. Guessing there's gonna be a fight up here. Yep. Some of Rimmergon's servants. Let's blind him. Let's 
get uh, Seraphin to mine blades and then blind this one as well. Oh crap, there's another one. Blind him too. Aloft, get your writhing tentacles out. Shoti, go ahead and top up Seraphin and then do your assassin's vine. Alright, they're all bl blinded. This one's going to be unblinded in a second. Aloth, get your Sitzel Spirit Lance out, and then Shodi, just keep attacking. It's accurate wounding shot them all, too. Spread around the dot damage. Why not? Heal yourself, Seraphin. Shoti, go ahead and do Holy Radiance. And I will just keep attacking. my pet that's almost dead so I don't want to worry about healing. There we go. These guys have a lot of hit points but they're easy to hit and they don't seem to do a lot of damage. What are these? Unstable soul essence. Uh, AoE 6 health restored per 6 seconds so <laughs> AoE 12 hit points. That's not very good. Let's see. All right, looks like we are going to need to go into you these little portals to find the rest of her. I wonder if our bodies are actually here or if we just left them in the, the Rhinebound Temple. What is this? We gather in the sight of Wodica and Wal to thresh truth from falsehood and see justice upheld. The voice seems to echo from nowhere in particular, though the figures before you present the tableau of a trial in progress. The matter before this tribunal tonight. Heresy. The dagger you took from the shackled spirit warms to the touch, oozing oily black ichor. Use the broken dagger relic to take on the role of a witness or the... No, let's go witness. That way we can say, we can see everything and then they're not going to believe the accused. The vanta your vantage among the hooded witnesses offers you a view of both the inquisitors and the accused. You recognize the latter as the spirit shackled near the portal above. She is the accused. You hereby stand accused of rejecting the orthodoxy delivered unto us by the universal divinities. In your malice, ignorance, and hubris, you would assault the very foundations of civilization. How do you answer these charges? I bear guilt for many things, but in my service to the divine, I have never wavered. Never once. Say nothing. No person present disputes the facts. Your words and actions are a matter of record, confessed by your allies and confirmed by innumerable eyes. It seems my guilt a foregone conclusion. Why then bother with this farce? That's a fair question. The Inquisitor turns her mas masked visage on you. We would thank you to keep your tongue civil or stilled, lest it be removed. Apologies, Inquisitor. She again addresses the accused. This body provides you with a final chance to ameliorate the sins you have heaped upon yourself. If you choose not to admit fault, not to display contrition, then you shall bear the full burden of your transgressions with you to the wheel. Then declare your sentence. What example will be made of me? Your eyes shall be plucked from their sockets and turned upon you that you may fully examine your deficiencies. Say nothing. Then you shall be chained within a copper tub and your skin opened at two score and seven points that your spirit might better fly your corrupt flesh. Say nothing. Once purified, your soul shall be bound within an animate that it may serve the gods forevermore. The spirit's head falls, her hair draping her face. Don't suppose I could get that animate after? Silence! 
Say nothing. The sentence has been pronounced, and so shall it be carried out. All praise be to the gods. You've gained an item, Moat of Conviction. We could have attacked them, but or at least it says we could have attacked them, but I, I'm guessing that that would just uh, reset the thing. All right, looks like it spat us out somewhere else all the way down here. So why don't we actually go back in and get that, get the moat or the thing over here. How do we get to that? It, look at that, there's a chest there. How do we get there? All right, where is this one gonna take us? Just straight down? Looks like it. We gather in the sight of Wotika and Wal to thresh the matter before this tribunal tonight. Apostasy. Use the relic to take on the role of the Inquisitor. It seems like uh, something we we just did. You are accused of abandoning the faith. How do you answer these charges? We can do that with intellect. I bear guilt for many things, but in my service to the divine, I have never wavered. Free the prisoner. Never. She has committed no crime. <laughs> okay. What? The chained elf's brown eyes widen. No crime? Her perfidy is legendary! Listen, all of you, your faith is false. The court's many figures erupt in hissing whispers. What are you saying? The gods were forged by Engwith of its own people's souls in order to control you. Heresy! The Inquisitor has been turned! Capture her! She <laughs> shall pay for her sins! The scene shimmers and breaks apart around you, leaving behind a pulsing fragment of essence. Well, I guess uh, they cannot be convinced. Alright, let's jump. Look into the light. Nope, we can't do anything yet. With that. Eventually, I'm guessing we'll get power over these light beams. And then I can jump to that treasure chest. Oh, kill the soul collector. Whoa, and there are strangled ciphers behind me. Blind them. Aloth, get out your Sitzel Spirit Lance and go help. Shoti. Iconic projection. Alright, we blinded one, let's blind the other. I dare charge this one. And we will Holy Radiance as well. Strangled Arcanist. She uh, summoned some tentacles. Oh, come on. They should disappear when she dies. My summons disappear when, I, when my guys die. Alright, going down. You must gather your party before venturing forth. All right, who are we gonna do this time? Let's do the accused. We gather in the yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got one of those. I worry this place grows less stable as a result of our actions, and it was not particularly stable to begin with. <laughs> Here we go again. Just play it like you're about to call a surprise witness. It'll put everyone on edge. Sure thing, Adair. You think maybe you can help these souls escape their bonds? Your words die on the air as if spoken into a blanket. None of the gathered apparitions respond to them in any way. Take on the role of the Inquisitor or Witness? We've already done that. Oh, well, Inquisitor it is. Let's try a different way this time. You've been charged with crimes against identity. How do you answer? Of this charge, I bear no guilt. I am not but myself. 
How could I be other? You, you could be lying about who you are. What reason could I have for doing that? How could I trick this court entire? When we first met, you offered me a relic. You claimed it could change a person's identity. Then how do you know that wasn't an imposter? Someone else taking on my face? Why would someone take on... On second thought? Uh... Freeze, free the prisoner. She's committed no crime. What? No crime? Her perfidy is legendary! Enough of... None of this is real. What? It's all a dream. This is just a reflection of the memories of a single broken soul. The other inquisitors stare wordlessly at you. But what of the accused? There is no accused. There's no ex accuser. There's only us. The gathered apparitions exchange confounded glances. Quiet muttering arises among the witnesses. The accused eyes search your own. What do you mean? Then who is us? Who are we? You're a prisoner, and I'm here to set you free. She nods as the other figures begin to shimmer. I appreciate that. I hope this helps you. Nice. So we did that one right. We were actually able to convince her that it was just a memory. All right, let's go around back here. Grab all the goodies hidden in the pots. All right, the soul ran that way, so let's go this way. Oh, soul collector. No, we can't get to him. Alright, looks like this is eventually will open. The way to the answers you seek remains closed to you. So we need to get, I think, probably one more moat, maybe. Or actually, we might have them all already. But I want to go kill that guy up there. Oh, shit, that's a lot of freaking traps. Alright, we need to rest now because my guy is... He's got three wounds, and if I get another one, I'm going to die like real death so I'd have to reload strike the bell over and over again nope blind the ads please Aloth, get out your your lance. Now you get over here and kill this guy. And hurry up. Actually, you know what? Concuss him. So he can't cast it at all. Nice. And then uh, accurate wounding shot. These guys are all pretty easy. <laughs> the hardest fights were before you ever even start the damn dungeons. The dragon and the people at the top of the, the iceberg. All right, what is this axe? Oathbreaker's End. All right, so it's got bonus crit damage because it's a battle axe. Superb Executioner Axe. Requires two hands to wield, but deals increased damage. It doesn't look like it deals increased damage. Scales of Justice. Scoring a critical hit causes the target to take five raw damage per three seconds. For 25 seconds, nice. Duration increases when the target deals damage. So if he attacks, the duration goes up even more. Nice. So what's, what is that? Uh, about 35, 32 raw damage. I want to know, where is it? What does this go into? Grimoire Trinket. Let's just uh, give it to um, Seraphin. It says it does increase damage, but it doesn't really look like it does increase damage. 30 to 41 slashing damage. Yeah. But, I mean, it's only superb, so we could actually upgrade it even further to 60%. But, oh, well, it's not something we can use. No, None of our guys have battle... Actually, I think Adair has battle axe, especially, like, uh, proficiency, but... You must gather your party before it's a two-handed weapon, and he needs his shields... So he can increase his engagement numbers. Give the spirit a mode of regret. You add the remorse-laden energy to the shackled soul's essence, and she gasps as if drunken, 
as if dunked in frigid water. Her eyes trickle blue as she strains momentarily against her bonds before drop drooping again. Do I... Do I know you? Have we met? The spirit's dark, heavily ringed eyes search you for recognition. We spoke not long ago. You begged for my help. Before this. Before here. It's possible. My soul belonged to an inquisitor in a past life. The spirit shudders both in form and in, and in position, and recoils against the Adra. I see it. The shackles about your soul. They're in you, the gods. And you, their puppet. I'm nobody's puppet, least of all theirs. Our, the only reason I'm helping them is because our goals align. Hold on to that. To that resentment. <clears throat> it will serve you still where flesh will fail. Provi Do you remember anything new? Amen. His torso caged in copper and Audra. It pulled him out of himself till he ate his own hand. Ugh. Do you remember anything new? No. Provide a mode of conviction. You add the potent mode of absolute certainty to the shackled soul's essence, and she gasps as if dunked in frigid water. Her eyes flash gray as she strains momentarily against her bonds and droops again. Tis nonsense, isn't it? Just mad theater. Worse, these trials were the height of hypocrisy. Agreed. Tis strange. I recall so many trials. An endless parade of You were the Inquisitor, I'm guessing. Was it a kind of punishment? Do you remember- forced to watch my fellows condemned? Her features twitch, fragment, and resolve again. Fragment. Do you remember anything new? The scent of scrolls. Tens of dozens of them. Each as inked as it would bear. Centuries of seeking distilled. All right, provide a moat of conviction. As she absorbs the third ball of essence, the spirit thrashes against her shackles. She cries out and her bonds flare brightly, limbed, limbed or lined with violet flames, before shattering with a crack like nearby thunder. All right, now put on your inquisitor hat. Freed, the spirit takes a halting step forward. Her gaze rises to you. When she speaks, her voice sounds stronger, but also ragged and strained. I am more myself. Than I have been in a very long time. You, I'm glad I could help. I almost like a word on the tip of the tongue. I have it, but I don't. She scowls. I am certain, though, that I knew the Inquisitor well. I think perhaps that I loved her and that she betrayed me. You should prepare yourself. The Inquisitor may not be so different from you as you believe. There we go. Perhaps not. But nothing could justify her actions. I'm sorry, but I think you and the Inquisitor may be one and the same. She flickers, her features running momentarily like heavy rain down a slanted roof. Ridiculous. We are nothing alike. I will lead you to her. She has much to answer for. Alright, let's go into the building. Come on, get going. Let me out of here. The way is open. It pulls me towards it. The only answers is what this place is called. The Inquisitor, flanked by reflections of herself, greets your entrance with a cold stare. Entropic spirit energy swirls about her. Inquisitor, you abandoned your sacred charge. You made a sacrifice of order on the altar of orthodoxy. Her eyes flash gray like cold steel. You've come to end me then? To consign these lands to chaos? Tis a certainty that I have lost. It fled me, I think. Each memory restored, providing it another egress. The Inquisitor again nods. We came here to end this, don't lose your way now. The two of you can still reconcile. You're more alike than not. Yeah, why not? How? It seems impossible. In that, at least, we are in accord. Leather squeaks as the Inquisitor's hands clench into tight little fists. Remember that you're not only the worst things you've done, but the best as well. You could try kissing. <laughs> You could try kissing. 
<laughs> All right, remember that you're not the only worst things you've ever done. Where that is so easily accomplished. She turns to Nexiva. What say you, Inquisitor? Is there ought to be salvaged between these two sad souls? Noxiva grimaces, her lips twitching at the corner as her focus shifts from you to the apparition at your side and back again. I'm resisting her. In resisting her, you only resist yourself. The Inquisitor's masks mask tilts toward the roof of the chamber as if she's looking to the gods for her answer. I've certainly been responsible for worse decisions. The apparition smiles even as it begins to unravel at the edges. As the Inquisitor fades, the other entities in the hall screech as if in pain. They advance upon you. Um, let's have, are these veil touched? No, they're not. So I'm going to have, let's blind at least one of the Inquisitors. We'll have Aloth, exposed vulnerabilities, and then um, Shoti, I want you to do, where's your, the Aethys thing, that. Warden of Decay. All right, one Inquisitor down. Let's grab the other one. 93, nice. Probably could have let the uh, dot damage kill that other Inquisitor. Seraphim, uh, Mind Blades. And then Barbaric Blow and end the fight. Hopefully the accused is fine. She died in the battle. But hopefully that doesn't kill her for good. The woman before you holds herself with a combined confidence and humility. With a combined confidence and humility. Her countenance only slightly less inscrutable than, the, than an Inquisitor's mask. But then she smiles. It's a small expression, hardly present but recognizable all the same. I appreciate your efforts here. I do not fully understand them, but I can appreciate them. The things I saw during the trial, were they real? To you and me? To us? Yes. Were they reflective of historical fact? Of that, I am unsure. You don't know? Imagine a nightmare from which you cannot wake. Imagine that it holds you captive for a thousand years. After you woke, would you be so certain of which horrors had occurred before you slept and which had not? Are you complete then? I think not. I feel hollow. Flat, somehow. Perhaps I am now all that remains of me. But tis enough. She peers at her palms as she answers. You're holding on to a dead dream. Ingwith is long gone. Were that it not so. I believe we represented this world's best chance for lasting peace. For enlightenment. Your world was a vindictive one, haunted by paranoia and suspicion. You could never have brought peace to Aora. I need your help. I certainly owe you a boon. How might I balance the scales? Um, come with me. I'll help you find your way back to the wheel. You offer so much of yourself. You've no idea my gratitude. Let us go then. The edges of Naxiva Ix current shimmer and lose cohesion as she anchors herself to you. All right, now we can go to the next realm. The Warden of Decay dropped a poison or a bomb. They seem to suck, though, so I'm not going to use them. Especially the healing one. 12. 12 AoE healing. Can I use this yet? No, I cannot use that yet. Did I never... No, I, I didn't loot that. Because I can't get across the darn ice. Or Return the water. from your interrogation. When Hader's gaze pierces you. And with another soul added to your collection. That place tortured her or she tortured her herself. Either way, it's time is it's time it ended. You risk her. Likewise you risk yourself. Without her assistance, you may never escape the depths. Yet your choice is made. There's no one turning the button. Alright, let's see if we can't go over here yet. No we can't. What about over here? Looks like this is going to be the next place we go. 
could go down there, the Drowned Kingdom, but I want to see where the fight, what the Fiery Kingdom is. The Bridge Ablaze. Oh yeah, this is definitely Widewind. He got blown up on on a bridge by Magrin's God Hammer. Through the shimmering gate, a structure of thick stone rises, thronged by soldiers awash in the rosy shades of dawn. The light shifts to be clear, to the clear bright blue of day, then again to red, all within a matter of moments. I wonder if Adair will see his brother here. Adair switch sides to fight with Widewind slash Aethys in the end. <laughs> it's funny though, because Aethys will be down here and up top too, in the real world. Investigate the bridge. I think that soldier's raid Saren. That one too. Oh, there was a button over here. Or uh gosh, you suck. Under the helmet, the soldier wears an accomplished grin, frozen in de in death. Where is the trap? That's not a trap. Okay, maybe it is. Oh well. Behind the Deerwooden defenses, Deerwooden defenses, uh, Raid Sarens laid down their lives to open the way for Wide Winds Crossing. Time has stopped here, it looks like. Is that? No. It can't be. Can it? Evondur Bridge. This is where the Saints War ended. Godhammer went off, blasted this place to pieces. And everyone in it. Say, how reliable are these memories anyway? Is this how it actually looked, or just what someone remembers of it? Reliable or not, it's certainly detailed. Oh, let's just hope the Godhammer doesn't explode in this particular memory <laughs> while yeah. we're standing in it. Half of this soldier's face is missing. Their expressions reflect a mixture of determination and hopelessness. What is this? Something heavy is leaning against the other side of the door, wedging it shut. Where is Widewind? I want to see what he actually looked like. I think he was a fire godlike. They say his head was super bright. A triumphant battle cry is frozen on their lips, their spittle suspended in the air. Alright, Widewind, let's see what you have to say for yourself. The figure at the head of the Raid Saren army seems at odds with his surroundings, more like he is delivering a sermon than leading a bloodthirsty vanguard. His body overflows with soul essence more than any mo mortal could hope to contain. Lord of light! That Saint Wildwind himself! Though he has the protection of an army rallying around him, his features are creased with apprehension. You haven't spotted a priest by the name of Durance, have you? He offers no reply. I'm sure he would have heard about it if Durance were actually here at the time. No, building the bomb and gloating about it from a safe distance? Yeah, that's more likely. I agree. You okay, Adair? That's not something you see every day. Not even on your worst day. Well, I suppose for the dozen, this was their worst day. The dozen were the twelve people who held Widewind here while the God Hammer went off. I always figured the stories were exaggerations. Head of light and all that. But people always make things sound worse than they were, but... Is that really you, Widewind? He doesn't move and reflects no awareness of your presence. Poke him. You might as well be poking a mountainside. The Battle of Edvan Dur Bridge already happened. Nothing can alter the events in, or their sequence, probably. Reach out to his soul. The response is immediate. A dim echo of soul essence clinging to Widewind lurches toward you like a drowning man taking his first lung full of air. Where, where am I? And who are you? Conflicting emotions radiate from his soul, like a mind waking like a mind waking from a deep and restless sleep. You're on e I'm Trissau, captain of the pe penetrator. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. The name's Widewind. I'm nothing special, just a farmer. Oh no. I feel something. It's coming on like a sneeze, but bigger. This would be a very bad time in again, isn't it? This would be a very bad time for history to repeat itself. Keep your distance. It's coming. The cycle's turning back on itself. Widewind's soul strains to avoid it, but you feel the pull of an unseen force tearing at him, shredding this moment of clarity. 
and then he's gone. Did they expect a dozen to stand against the dawn? That's who he sounds like. He sounds like Aethys. He's got the same voice modulator going. Widewind stares down what remains of the dear wooden defenders, the last men and women holding the line against him. I was in the middle of something. Bring Widewind back. Your words cause Widewind's essence memory to flicker with recognition. The moment passes. Resist and the light will extinguish you. Surrender and be redeemed by the coming of the day. You feel wide when summoning his will to attack. He knows how this will end, not because he has reenacted countless times before, but because it could end no other way. Before he can launch his attack, a tremor runs through the bridge. Heat rises from the stones and bellows into an inferno. You're saying that was his plan all along? It's to get the other gods to kill him? Jesus, that is a big bomb. Or a big explosion. Oh, I, Wide One is flying through the air. Looks like he's being disintegrated. Torn apart by the force of the bomb, Wide One is a tableau of agony. Any divine aspect has fled, leaving him nothing more than a mortal in great pain. Must have been a pretty bad way for Wide One to wake up. Something catches the light, an engraved circular trinket hanging around Widewind's neck by a thin cord. Take the trinket. The cord won't disentangle from Widewind's neck, but you manage to slip the trinket free. It's a personal sundial. Properly adjusted, it can beam a small ray of light on the time of day. As your hand closes around it, the spirits of the realm stir in agitation. Is that another a trinket? It is. The user channels absorbing the defenses of all enemies in the area. Negative 15, all defenses on hit. For each hit, the caster gains five defenses, stacks five times for 10 seconds. That's one per rest, and it doesn't last very long, so I'm not going to use it. Wait, hold on. Sundials like this are used by shepherds. Blah, 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 blah. Widewind must have carried this item during the Saints' War because the air around it trembles with power. Roused by your interference, the spirits converge on your position in a wordless fury. Oh good, I didn't want to get out of here without a fight. Bear, you go over there. And I will start blinding everything. Sitzel Spirit Lance, you go ahead and queue, since I'm guessing they're vessels. Seraphin's gonna mine blades over and over again until he runs out of focus. Did I just miss him? I just missed with my ranger. Soldier's pretty beefy. <clears throat> Something warm shines from the distant obscurity of the beyond. It isn't fire or a star, but light itself, seemingly disconnected from any source. You know this isn't your first time seeing it. It looks like Aethys. No sooner does it roll its attention toward you than you feel the heat of a familiar piercing gaze. Aethys, what are you doing here? Grieving. That man, Widewin. He had a life that I invaded. Delivered to death and consigned to this culvert. Ah, so that's what the beams of light are, is wide when watching, maybe? I left him to stand and accept punishment in my stead. I am the peace of the dawn stars that lingered, delayed by grief. The rest of Aethys could use a conscience like you. Like you. Perhaps. Widewind's fractured mind is holding this bridge suspended in time. He's no good to anyone until he understands what he forgot. Show Wide One Sundial. The energies around the bridge seem drawn to this. A fitting token for Wide One. As a holy man, he was a keeper of the light. As a farmer, he was indebted to cycles. Aethys' light falls on the timepiece, bathing it in a warm glow. Watcher, I implore you for Wide One's sake to stand in my light and read the sundial. 
You can follow the timeline of the bomb and find Widewin in the explosion. I can use this to manipulate time? How far can I go? There are limitations. You can perceive nothing beyond what the souls of this place experienced themselves. I'm gathering that souls is the burden of memory. I'm gathering souls to deal with the dragon, but everything in this realm seems either trapped, broken, or mad. You can count Widewin among the broken and trapped. Madness is not created here. Everything you see is a product of what Kith bring with them when they die. Twisted, as if in a dream. I'll carry his sundial into the light and see what happens. Widewin is scattered across the bridge in three parts. But I sense a fourth nearby as well. A piece that detonated with the bomb. Find him in the God Hammer. Make him whole again. I will do that. We got a key. Where's the key for? A beam of clear radiant light cuts through the murky expanse of the beyond. The air around it is notably warmer than the rest of this realm. Hold wide one sundial up to the light. The light shines down the sundial's pinhole and aligns with dusk. Turn the ring towards dawn. As you adjust the sundial, the ambient light shifts around you and the ground trembles beneath your feet. So it's going to put me in a new zone, basically. Alright, we've been here already, I think. But that's okay, because there was a light beam up here that I wanted to go check. All right, that's where we're going to actually end it for now. We are at 40 minutes. Falling out of a tapestry and into a painting. Uh, I've seen this moment in my dreams. All right, so please leave a like or comment below, and feel free to subscribe for more full Let's Plays like this one. And thanks for stopping by.